These are the five things that you really need to know as a bare minimum for this device. The first is, if the device makes a noise, there will be a message. If the device makes a noise, don't ignore it. Read the message and the message will appear in this section. And the two most common messages are, change the battery or lead is disconnected. Second thing you need to know is the yellow button. None of the parameters are changeable unless you unlock the device first. So for example, if I try to change the rate, I can't. I have to unlock the device before I can change the rate. The third thing to know is the red button. The red button is the emergency button and this turns the device into asynchronous pacing with maximum output. So when I, you have to press the yellow button first, press the red button, it will immediately go to 18 volts in the atrium, 18 volts in the ventricle, DOO pacing, so that's asynchronous pacing, no sensitivity in the atrium or the ventricle. And it will also check to see whether your leads are connected. And you can see here the atrial lead is disconnected. I press the OK to stop the tone. And the ventricular lead is disconnected. I'll press the OK to top, stop the tone. The fourth thing is, how do you turn the device off? And to do this, they, you press the yellow button to unlock. You press the off button and you will have a choice of two. One is standby, one is the completely off button. Standby is most useful when you're preparing the device pre-surgery and you want to set it up as a set of parameters and then turn the device off, knowing that when you turn it on, it will come up exactly as you left it. It's also useful to have it in standby when you're connected to the patient but don't actually need the pacemaker at the moment. So for example, you've almost finished, still connected to the patient, put the device into standby. When you've disconnected from the patient and you have no need of the pacing box, then you can turn it off. So you would turn it off here or standby here. So I'm going to press standby. I'm going to unlock it, press standby. It goes off. And then should I need pacing and turn it on, within four seconds, the device is going to come back exactly as you left it, which in this case was emergency uh, mode pacing, I can just stop the tone and I'm back where I started. The fifth thing that we need to know is how do you change the battery? And changing the battery is so simple, everybody who uses the box should know how to do this. You don't disconnect from the patient, you simply turn the device over and there's a small flap, you move it to the side and press the button and the battery just tips out into your hand. And if I put the device down, you can see I'm still pacing. It is saying, giving you a message saying, change the battery. I take a new battery and the new battery can go in either this way or that way. It's not critical as long as the electrodes go first. So I pop it in, I close it, close the flap. There's no more buttons to press. It will carry on without a pause. Uh, exactly as you left it. Be aware that some batteries have a little plastic cap on like this. That needs to be removed before you put a new battery in. And some batteries have cellophane wrapped around them and that cellophane has to be removed too. So those are the five things that you really need to know about this device. If it makes a noise, there's a message. You need to press the yellow button to unlock it. If you don't do anything with the device for 30 seconds, it will lock anyway. The third, the third thing you need to know is the red button, uh, which is an emergency button to give you maximum output in an emergency situation. The fourth thing you need to know is how to turn it off uh, by pressing the off button and choosing standby or off. And the fifth is how to change the battery.